pretty good. Looks like a pocket right there. Kind of like a V. Everything is kind of getting pushed in that one spot. There. Yeah, it looks like the best spot to me. Uh, that's what's going on. <laughs> of course. I need new waders. Or super glue these together, maybe. Or epoxy. Epoxy might be better. Alright. Battle star. Give it a shot. off. I'll try it like this for now. Alright, loosen it to the perch. Good casting. Dude, Dude both of my <laughs> both of my things are falling off now. Dude, I'm all I'm falling. I can't back up. Tie it directly on there. I think it gives it better action. Lighter setup. Let's see. Let's see what we can do with this. Right. I got these. I don't know if I really need them. I've never really been on rocks or anything for the most part. With these waders on. Let's try it now. Getting low, getting low. That's a lot easier to walk now. Holy cow. First impression is cast really well. About uh, like a 115. Yeah, I could feel more action. It might be the rod, but I just think this directs ties better. Good water. Gotta be fishing this. Pushing up like this. Come on, something like. There he is. Yeah. Oh. Loosen. Ah, oh, it came off. Dang it. My drag was too tight. Yeah, it's my fault. I'm rusty. I'm rusty. Yeah, figure this out. All right. That was a decent fish too. Those hooks are sharp, plenty sharp enough. All right, big swell coming in. Maybe some fish too getting pushed up. Just 
just keep pressure on this one. It's different. Fighting different. It's like a. I don't even feel like a fish, really. It's weird. Got a snag? Got a snag? Yeah. Uh, it's just the way he's hooked. It's alright. He probably went for it. Not a big. Not a big perch, but that's all right. Let's do this as safely. Get you back out there. Oh, it's close to the mouth. Got it off. All right. I'll get this other one off safely. That's good. There we go. That's the safe way to do it. Alright, get you back out there, buddy. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him, I got him. Did I, I think you got off. He barely hit it. I had him for a second, I think. That was a weird, weird way you hit it. Strange. Size round about. Oh, that's a red tail. Nice. I got him in the mouth. I might keep him actually. Let's see where I got you hooked at, dude. I got, yep, I got him in the mouth. Sweet. I'll keep you, dude. It's a, it's a guy. And he's about 10 and a half, I think. Pretty sure he's over 10 and a half, actually. All right, we'll measure him. Make sure. Yeah. He's about ten and a half, but that's too close. Oh, I'm good. Too close. thing I want is it flying off. Don't hit the bird. Right. That's really faster this time just to see. I think they like it a little slower though. I'll go a little faster. Right. Doing it slow again. Big swell. Big swell. Ah. Gotta have some fish in this. Oh, another one. Come on, where's the fish?
Come on. Come on. Come on. That's one. Ah. Ah, he got off. That's all right. That's all right. It happens. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. They like it really, really slow. I can barely feel the action, but it's got to be action on it. Sit my drag a little tighter since I'm doing it so slow. See if that helps. Yeah, they like it really slow. Just barely it's happening. I'm not huge, but at least there's some fish here. Ah, come on, sideways. Heavy, heavy, not expecting that. Oh, that's a crap, that's a crap. Come on, man. Ah, it's a guy, it's not crab season, is it? Technically, I can't keep him like that. Ah. That's a nice crab, man. Hey! Dude, come on. Gotta grab him appropriately. Alright, there we go. That's a good crab. It's a guy. Get out there and make some more crabs, man. Ideally, I want to retie with that one. Dude, I'm not expecting that. Jack smelt, I think. Man, just not expecting that. <laughs> it might come off, but that's all right. Dude, Jack smelt. It's a low tide. Come on, man. Back up there. Yeah, he'll probably make it from here. Oh. This one comes with a split ring, and it's about the same weight and size of the Lucky Craft 115 and 
The depth is about the same, three to five feet. Exactly the same, actually. And this is the Lucky Craft 115. Does not come with a split ring, but everything else is about the same. Usually with these, I actually do a loop knot. Something like this. Uh, this is 110, but I took the split ring off and tied a loop knot. Sometimes I do that just to compare the action. But yeah, they usually come with a split ring like this one here. Kind of a oval shape one. And I don't know, these fast snaps, I think they work okay. They kind of have a good movement to them kind of acts like a split ring but it just seems like the water I don't know seems like it may interfere with the action because of how bulky it is I've used smaller fast snaps than these but yeah the 115 has a bigger lip so it dives deeper and I don't think it affects the action as much as like a 110 smaller and the actions probably affect it more so just having that small profile line I think helps with the action but I don't know from my experience maybe you guys have a different experience you can comment let me know I'm testing out different ways with the loop knot and whatnot so anyway thank you guys for watching just have these in there to help with getting the water off. I replace them often and it helps them from moving around in the box a lot. These guys right there. Alright. Uh, and I use this one most of the time.